Oh man, this is uh, this is quite interesting because Ashley hasn't hit me yet, and I'm I'm not trying to figure out why it hasn't hit me, but it's just like okay, I made the team, but that doesn't mean stop working. You know, it means keep on going and keep on getting better, keep on finding ways to keep on improving, um, and and be able to play for the Commonwealth team. You know, it's it's like it's like a dream come true, basically. So many people growing up in England, um, the Commonwealth Games is a dream, you know, to go to the Commonwealth Games is a big ambition, like an Olympic ambition or world champs. It has that level of importance to kids to make, to know that you get that letter or email or told by the coach you've made the team, you've made the final cut, is a huge thing. For you, do you think it maybe hasn't sunk in because growing up predominantly in America, the Commonwealth Games wasn't something that was ever on your radar of a dream thing to achieve? So when I started playing basketball, I touched the ball when I was about 12 years old. But I didn't actually start playing the game to about 14, 15 years old. And even then, I had an injury. And so I had to sit out a year. And I didn't actually start playing, playing basketball to the age of 16. So growing up, I stayed with it. Um, thankfully played high level Division One basketball in the States. And then after I graduated from uni, I, one of my goals was before I get done playing basketball was to play for my country, for England. So um, now looking into the now, it's like, wow, this opportunity came, took advantage of it. And now I'm on the team, you know, playing for my country, playing in the Commonwealth Games. And as you mentioned, there's a dream for kids growing up here in England. So you're, you're going to be on that plane towards the end of March, flying to Australia. You've never even been to Australia. No, I have not. Never been to Australia. But I'll tell you what, it is exciting, you know, looking forward to some really good weather, some positive weather for once and for all. You know? <laughs> you're not going to have the freak snow that we've had here. Mind you, it's quite weird because you look at it, you're traveling all that way to Australia to compete in these Commonwealth Games. And your first game up, you're playing Mike Vigor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be a good one. Um, you know, it, me and Mike have been talking about it a little bit. You know, we haven't really like gave each other banter yet. You know, be like, oh yeah, we're gonna beat you. You know, he might beat us. We don't know. But you know, just have fun. You know, it's it's more of um, enjoying that atmosphere and enjoying guys and enjoying playing with guys that you play against in your own country, and just embracing that. And you know, playing against Scotland, I think you know that's one of my teammates that I'm going to be playing. That I, that I play against, but I also play with. So is that going to be an advantage? Do you think you're going to know his weaknesses? He knows yours. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's going to be one of those ones where it's like you know we put a, put us against each other in the actual game and see how we actually compete against each other. But yeah, I'm sure he knows my weaknesses and I know his weaknesses too. That was, that was the bit where you say I have no weaknesses. <laughs> your England, know. your England team though. I mean, it it must help because I think ten out of the twelve of the team you uh, play in the BBL already so you know each other fairly well already. Yeah, it's, which is great because it gives us um, the opportunity for chemistry to, or to build chemistry and from the camps, uh, the two, the two uh, camp sessions, one in November and one recently here the last couple of weeks, it's given us the opportunity to build more chemistry and you know, it's, it's great to be a part of a, a great group of guys and that you're going to be competing with to win you know, of course, you want to win the gold medal, but whatever we win, you know, then we'll be appreciative of it. Yeah, well, so you're going there to win a medal. I, I think the last time <laughs> bas I mean, basketball's had a bit of a checkered career in the Commonwealth Games in terms of they're always changing which sports are in in each Commonwealth Games almost. Um, and I think the last time England won in 2006 in Melbourne in the Commonwealth Games there, it's quite interesting it was back in Australia that England won a medal. So who knows? The, the omens could be good. Yeah, hey, omens could be good. The chances are great. You know, um, we're definitely going back to Australia. And like I said, we're looking to win the gold medal this time. And so if we don't get the gold medal, then we look for the silver medal. And if not the silver medal, then we'll bring another bronze medal home. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start out with gold. So start with the gold. It is interesting because the Commonwealth Games are also always referred to as the friendly games. Um, Canada, I guess, would be one of the stronger teams you would think outside looking in. But I guess it isn't as simple as that because a lot of the top players that are playing maybe in the NBA won't be released. Which gives us the opportunity to play even better, you know, or, or it, it, it slims down the competition levels a little bit. But it's not just in the NBA. I mean, I'm sure there's other team, uh, other players who are playing worldwide where their clubs ain't letting them go. And I'm sure there's players who are playing in Europe, players who are playing in Australia, and like you say, players who are playing in the NBA who who are faced with the situation that the clubs won't let them go. But 
No, it should be exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and seeing what other players out there, you know, in terms of what other players are representing the country and what level they play at. So. Yeah. Well, you talk about clubs letting them go. Uh, the Flyers are letting you and Mike go. Um, <laughs> it's going to be tough for them while you're away, or do you think the team will do good? Because they've got four games, I think it is, while you're away. Four, four or five games, something like that. Um, I think... It, it may be tough, but at the same time, I think coaches putting the team in a position where, where they're going to have to learn to work without certain players on the court, which gives them the opportunity to gel together and figure out how to find a flow in the offense or find a flow in the defense or just find a flow in the game. So I'm, I'm confident in my teammates and I'm confident they will you know, take care of business while two of the key players are gone. Yeah, well, you talk about strength in depth. I guess uh, you guys being away, it's an opportunity for others to oh, prove themselves. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you might be elbowing your way back in the team when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to hurt my teammates. I, I, need, I need them on the court as well. So, But no, it, it gives a good, you know, it gives a good uh, opportunity for everybody else to play. And again, looking forward to see what the results will be whilst uh, I'm away in Australia. So ironically, the next home game, the way the fixtures bizarrely fall in the BBL, the next home game is against Cheshire Phoenix. But you won't be there. Ooh, I won't be there. But, you know, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm, I'm confident in the guys. So I think the, the, the way that the growth of the team has been, or the growth of our season since I've been here with Bristol Flyers, they, they're heading in the right direction. To be honest, I feel like being here in Bristol has given me that grounded, that grounded bit of my life where I can sort myself out and be able to focus and be able to go on the inward journey and, and just find myself basically. And that's, that's what Bristol has done for me and, and coming here, is just, it's, it's feels, it feels good, it feels great. And so, yeah, it's my third season with the Flyers now and I'm enjoying it, loving it. And, and now the opportunity to play for, the, for my country is even, it's even better, you know? <laughs> well, like you say, you've achieved that ambition. Let's hope you come back from the Commonwealth with a medal as well and top six finish in the playoffs. There you go, that's, that's the goal. <laughs>